Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to spend some time with me and watch the video. Always much appreciated around here. And guys, today I wanna to talk about fishing the Edo Shiner, the Mega Bass Edo Shiner or jerk bait in the summertime of the year. Um, this is a really unique bait. It's a lot different than the Mega Bass Vision 110 that everybody uses. Um, it's a little bit bigger bait. So we're gonna go over it in detail about why it works better in the summertime and some of the structures I fish it on in today's video. Um, also guys, just a quick reminder that we do have our summer Lake Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns up on the website. Um, if you guys are interested in, in checking out some of these uh, Lake Map Breakdowns that I built for Fish the Moment, I'll include the Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdown link in the description. And right now we got the summer maps out. Uh, you can get them for all year, but right now that we're highlighting the summer maps, gives you 40 good GPS waypoints, both some shallow stuff and some deep stuff, some medium stuff. Uh, you can download these GPS waypoints right to your fish finder. And also it's a good way to learn more about a lake that you don't know much about or get some good spots on some of your favorite lakes that you may not know exist there. So really appreciate you guys checking that out. <clears throat> okay, the Edo Shiner, guys. You, some of you guys may hear about this. If you, some, if you haven't, I'm going to sort of give you guys sort of a lowdown on this. This bait's been out for about 10 years now. It's the Mega Bass Edo Shiner. And it's, if you've seen the Mega Bass X80, this is a larger version of it. But basically, it's about probably half inch longer or you know, close to half inch longer than the Mega Bass Vision 110. It's got a lot higher profile on the side. You can see how much, uh, how much, dot, how much width is on the side of it. It's a little bit wider. <clears throat> it's just a, basically a larger jerkbait in general. But the main thing about the Edo Shiner that makes it really good in the summertime is the Edo Shiner has a really, really aggressive action. Um, most jerk baits sort of got like a twitch, 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 twitch like this. The Edo Shiner, when you jerk it, based upon how hard you jerk it, it really darts hard side to side. It's got an aggressive action, which is really uh, appealing to the summer bass when those water temperatures are warmer. So first of all, I'll talk a little bit about the type of areas to fish it on, and then we're gonna talk about you know the techniques to fish it as far as to generate that erratic action. So there's two structures that I like to fish with the Edo Shiner in the summertime. One is bridge pilings, the other is any type of boat dock. Those are the key structures, not only for the Edo Shiner, but you know, for a lot of jerk baits in general, unless you're fishing for smallmouth up north. But if you've got any type of floating boat docks on the lake that you fish, they don't have to be floating. You can catch them on piling docks too. Floating docks are better. But if you've got some floating boat docks sort of that, that has water visibility of like anything greater than like 18 inches in visibility, Edo Shiner fished around those dock corners and the sides of the docks, guys, is a great way to trigger those fish that are suspended under those docks. And um, my favorite deal, if you gave me an ideal scenario, I would pick either a commercial dock or a residential dock where you've got two to three foot of water visibility. And I look for the shade. It's like different times of the day you're going to have different um different shade lines on a dock so when you approach a dock take a look at it analyze where that shade line is and make sure you line your boat up to make a parallel cast down that shade sometimes it's on the the sides of the dock sometimes it's down the front sometimes there's you know part of the roof is shining down there's a little shade pocket on the corners of them wherever you find the shade that's where the bass are going to be because on those docks, those fish live underneath those docks all year long. And they, they, in the summertime of the year, they sort of, they swim under those docks looking for the shade. They, they, they move all the time with the changing sunlight angles and they position themselves in the shade as an ambush point. And you can take them, the Mega Bass Edo Shiner and just jerk it around those docks over there and really catch them good. The same on the bridge piers, guys. If you got bridge piers, concentrate on the shady side of those bridge piers, same deal. But the main thing is when you're fishing the Edo Shiner in the summertime, you want to use an aggressive retrieve. So most of the time, you know, I'll cast it out there. And on my, on my other, my typical jerk base, guys, I'll, I'll jerk it down there. Then I'll, I'll twitch it like that and let it set, twitch it like that and let it set. When you're fishing that Edo Shiner in the summertime, you know, cast it out there, reel it down and go jerk, 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 like that. Don't even hardly let it pause. Maybe a split second, but this is sort of how I work it. Boom, 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 boom. And the bait is just going wild through the water. It's just going like that through the water all the time. And that's what's gonna generate the, the, the reaction strike in that warmer water. But anyway, guys, I'll link my uh, Edo Shiner link and my Tackle Warehouse link in the description of this video if you guys wanna pick up a couple of them. 
Um, this is one of my favorite colors. This is the Elgi Bone right here. I do really good on this. But there's a lot of different colors that uh, caught them on good. This uh, matte shad right here, matte, this matte shad is a really good color. If the water's a little bit dirtier on a cloudy day, um, you can't go wrong with the pro blue like this. And there's this, they got quite a few good colors to choose from. Um, basically just sort of to match the water clarity and the sunlight condition like on any other jerk bait. So anyway guys, give it a try. Hope it helps you catch a few. We'll talk later. See you.